this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead and welcome to Fabric Friday. I showed you last week this um, placemat pot holder um, that I'd just pinned out and I was going to do over Facebook with a friend. As it happened, um, we went through hers but not mine so I thought I'll do this as a tutorial because she's done hers now. Right, I've laid it out where I want the pieces to go. These side bits, because they'll be going on last and I don't want raw edges, I have put them together. So that's one side bit and another side bit and I do apologise I have the sniffles. Right, and all these strips that I pinned on are going to be sewn onto straight onto the wadding batting. So we take the top one off and the bottom one, then the second one down and the second one up. That I've got my backing fabric, the wadding batting that I'm actually using on this. You can use a, a, an old towel if you want it but uh, I'm using some thin because I'll, I'm using this thicker weight um, curtain fabric. So basically I'm now lying can you see all right? Yeah. I've got the two strips there doesn't have to be exactly straight or whatever just put them on so they're roughly in the same spot would help if I got my sewing machine turned on just a second they yeah, are got it turned on now and just sew them together put the right side facing up for your bottom piece and then the next piece is right sides together line the seams up and stitch it on which I will do now I haven't got my quarter inch foot on you don't have to do it a quarter of an inch you can do whatever seam allowance you want drop your needle bring up your thread tuck on your top thread and your bottom one will, will come up and that's your two up bottom, uh, top, top and bottom hold on to them drop your needle and then you can raise your foot and put those threads out of the way you don't have to uh, do a locking stitch or forward and back or anything like that. Just go for it. Set them together. And when you get to the end, lift your needle. and trim your threads and as you can see it's now done so you have no raw edge on that line that you've just sewn now you can finger press, press this down you could iron it press if you want or get one of the these and press it down I don't bother ironing I just use this Right, now we've decided, well, I know I'm going to finish this top bit. So we get the top one, the next to top one, line the edges up and do exactly the same again. Find your top thread, drop your needle, back up again. Pull it out slightly and it will bring your bottom thread up. Hold them both, 
drop your needle. If you have to hand turn it, then you hand turn it. But I've got the facility that I can just drop it. And then sew that down. And as you can see, no raw edge there because you're folding it back. Now I'll carry on with these centre strips and finish them and then I'll bring you back. In fact I won't do that, I shall just record it and then put you put it on fast forward for you. And that's the middle bit done. The um, sides, because I didn't want to put just strips of fabric down them, I wanted like a patchwork to match, I've sewn them together to make a strip. Actually I didn't need to sew as many as I have done. What I'm going to do is position it where I want it to go, making sure that the pieces that you've already stitched down are flat because you don't want them ruffled up. And also you want to make sure that the back is flat. Because the last thing you want is your backing fabric all ruffled up. Now I don't want my seams together, so that's where it's going to go. Make sure that the top's there. Put a pen in it to hold it in place. And I'm pulling it along there. That. No, that doesn't do a seam, and I'm going to pin there to make sure they stay in the same place. I don't normally pin, but I will for this. Doesn't matter if your edge isn't level because we're just going to sew over it anyway. So you don't need to bring your thread up this time because you can hold on to it because it's there. Drop your needle and start. I'm taking that one out just so I can manoeuvre slightly and see where I'm going. It's slightly at an angle but it doesn't matter. It 
if you wanted it completely straight and that you can measure it out but it's not necessary adds a bit of interest to it and fold it back Pin those down because I don't want them turning under on anything. And I'll do exactly the same on this remaining side as I want it to go there, I think. Oh, I don't want the seam there, but I'll do nice. So just make sure the underside is lying flat, then your top bit goes on it. Make sure underside last piece is flat and your top bit is on that. Pin to hold and sew. Don't worry about these bits that you because you're going to be cutting them off, and you can always make another one of these potholes things and use those scraps up. You could keep going, loads of potholders, but there it is creased where I want, pin it so. Now what you can do is either just go and cut it down now or what I like to do is measure it and mark it and then stitch where I mark so I know I've got it nice and square. So I'll mark it and then come back to you. Uh, you can see two markings here at the side because I first marked it out and I thought it's bigger than I want so I've cut each side down by nearly an inch and marked there so what I do now is I put it on my largest stitch straight stitch it's just to hold this down that's all it's for that's gone all the way around so it's now holding it together exactly and you might not be able to see but me stitching holding it together so I know me backing is the right size so I can now cut it down and bind it I'll just cut it down and then show you so that is it cut down, it's round about a quarter of an inch away from my lines and I can now bind it and I've got a little pot holder out of complete scraps. Uh, I will do, a, because this is fairly thick, 
fabric because it's curtain weight I'm doing a single fold not a double fold which I normally do on my quilts uh, double fold binding and I'm doing single fold on this so I'll make a, a video for single fold binding thank you bye